Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My last video was my 2024 opening makeup inventory. Today I am following that up with my skincare inventory opening numbers for 2024. Echoing what I did last week, I will go through the categories individually, telling you what the quantity and value totals for each category within my skincare inventory are and then I will go through my goals for this year at the end of having told you about the quantities and the values. Same quick disclaimer as with my last video, usually at the start of each year I try and pull everything out and do a fresh count, try and make sure I catch anything that has come in through the previous year and fallen through the cracks and not been added on for whatever reason. I have just not had the time to get that done this year. So what I've done is taken my 2023 closing numbers, added on the things that I got for Christmas and anything that I bought in the first couple of months of the year. And that's where my 2024 opening numbers are coming from. So I am sure as the year goes on, especially with skincare because you get samples and they do just kind of get chucked into makeup bags or go into boxes or whatever and you forget to add them on. So I am sure there are things that I own that are not on this inventory that will crop up as the year goes on. So I am prepared for that. Um, I'm just disclaiming it now. I just don't have the time to like pull everything out of all these different storage places, do that fresh count and put it all away. Um, I just really wanted to get on with sharing the numbers. So these will be sort of 90% accurate, little bit of leeway for things that I will have missed that will come up through the year and we'll just have to deal with them as we find them. So without further ado, let's get into my 2024 skincare inventory. So starting off with makeup removers, I have one eye makeup remover. It is worth $7.95. For face makeup removers, so that is basically like first step cleansers for me, things like micellar water or like cleansing balms. I have eight of those worth $275.33. Then for actual cleansers, which is like second step cleansers, I have 20 worth $326.04. For toners, I have four toners worth $80.60. I have one essence worth $46. I have 12 serums worth $501.82. I have seven oils worth $229.53. For retinol products, I have five worth $235.66. For eye products, which is both eye creams and any like under eye masks and anything like that that I have, I've just put them all in one category. So I have 20 of them worth $393.73. For moisturiser, I have 18 worth $500.25. And for SPFs, I have six SPFs worth $169.08. On to masks and treatments. For face masks that are in like tubs, jars, not sheet masks basically, just any other kind of face mask, I have 27 of those worth $636.03. For sheet masks, I have 33 worth $238.75. Just called this category treatments, it's mainly like spot treatments and things. I have four items in that category worth $72. Peels and exfoliators, I have eight worth $216.41. For facial sprays, I have two worth $70. Then on to body products, I have two body scrubs worth $63.60. I have seven body washes worth $89.06. I have one body mask worth $24. I have seven bath products, they are worth $105.80. For body moisturiser, I have 17 worth $623.55. For hand creams, I have seven worth $131.48. And for foot products, I have three worth $50. So that's the total in terms of by category. I also have three sachet samples, which I count as being worth a dollar each. So to add them on, that gives me a complete quantity for opening 2024 of 223 items and the value altogether is worth $5,089.67. Now, skincare is usually what I use the most of. There are certain categories though that I do definitely want to set goals on and make sure that I am checking in on. I am going to be doing quarterly check-ins with you guys at the end of each quarter. I've broken down my goals for the year into what I would need to do per quarter to keep on track with them and I'm going to be sharing that with you at the end of every quarter so that if I go off track 
I can catch it more quickly than waiting to the end of the year and being like, oh, I didn't really manage this. Opening quantity, as I said, is 223. My main goal overall is to reduce it to 150 or less items. Now that should be absolutely doable in terms of using things up, but I want that to be a total of 150 or less, including what has come in. And you do tend to get skincare samples and things. So I feel like, although it's the thing I always use the most of, I don't always, I think, account in my head for how much of that will come in this year or any year. I think skincare samples are so easy for brands to give out because you're not having to colour match or whatever. I feel like I, last year, didn't really allow enough kind of leeway for what was going to accumulate during the year. One of the things that I have done is I have cancelled my Liberty Beauty box. I was talking about that in my 2023 in review video where I'm saying I might cancel it but I was maybe going to give them one more box since the price increased to see if it if it was worth it but I had to think about it and I've cancelled it so I'm not going to be getting my beauty boxes this year which were something that was kind of bringing things in but I know even if I am just placing beauty orders for replacements I will get samples with them and this year I am not doing a no buy I am doing a low buy and it's going to be a budget focused low buy and I'll be chatting about that in another video with you so that I can give it the kind of proper time but I know that does leave me a bit of leeway where if I'm buying things I know I'll probably buy them when there's a gift with purchase or something going on as well which probably those gifts with purchases would end up equating to the Liberty Beauty Boxes things anyway. I don't think that it's necessarily that will bring in any more than average by not being on my no buy because I think with skincare I was already in certain categories having to buy replacements and the beauty box was definitely bumping my skincare up every year. I don't foresee myself buying, using my budget to buy much in the way of skincare products. You know I don't think as a category it's going to be bumped up with me buying lots of new treatments or anything like that because I still have so much to work through but yeah I am doing a low buy that's a budget controlled low buy this year so if I was buying say a makeup product or something if I'm buying it when there's a gift with purchase I'm likely to have skincare coming in because of that so I am kind of allowing that skincare is going to come in but I would still like to end the year with 150 items or less in my skincare collection and as with last week there are certain categories that I'm putting specific goals in place for so the first category that I have a specific goal for is my face makeup removers I have eight to open with and I would like to close with five or less now basically I'm a big fan of the Lisa Eldridge cleanser and um, I must have mentioned that a few times because I got four of them for Christmas from different people yeah, obviously I, I was telling everybody about this cleanser I really really liked it so I've ended up with four plus the one that I had so I had five of them I also have a cleansing balm that came in a soap and glory kit and then I have two micellar waters so what I'm hoping is that I will reduce by reduce the two micellar waters down to one and I would definitely like to bring the cleansing balms down quite significantly however I know from having had the Lee Eldridge one last year which I think is just about finished actually now it should be in my quarter one empties but I've had that for most of last year so I know how long that product has taken to finish so I'm hoping if I finish the one that I've started the year having owned already and then reduce by another one by the end of the year and don't bring any more in that I should be able to close off with five items or less in that category altogether. For cleansers I'm opening with 20, I'm aiming to close with 15. Cleansers are something that I think you get a lot of samples of because again super easy to sample, it's not quite as specific to your skin type, it's not as active so it's not as expensive for brands to produce so giving away samples costs them less. There's a lot of reasons that I think that my cleanser category is as big as it is because I wouldn't go around thinking of myself as somebody who buys a lot of cleansers so when I look at that category I'm like oh I didn't buy the majority of these they've been gifts with purchases or samples or whatever so I'm saying 15 that's a reduction of five which I would like to have happen but I would technically like to reduce by more I'm just allowing 15 because that allows for leeway for possible ones to come in. Serums I'm opening with 12 I'm aiming to have five or less at the end of the year 
I think that should be doable. Again, a lot of them are samples and things rather than things I have chosen, but I feel like if I just can reduce the overall quantity down, then when samples come in, I can blitz through them and then go back to the full size ones that I'm choosing to own. Oils, I currently have seven and I'm aiming to reduce that down to four. So that is three oils that I'm aiming to get out this year. I'm not a massive oil fan. Again, I don't think I bought any of the ones that I have in my collection. I think they've all been like gift with purchases or deluxe samples or whatever. So reducing it by three is the plan. Retinols, I currently have five. I would like to finish off at two, so reducing by three, fingers crossed. Eye products, I'm opening at 20. I've got quite a big goal here. I'm aiming to reduce that down to five. Now, as I said, the 20 that I'm opening with, some of those are eye creams, but a lot of them are treatments like under eye patches or like deluxe samples of treatments that you would use on a sort of special occasion. And I'm a bit of a nightmare for keeping things like that for a special occasion. Then when a special occasion occurs, I'm like, oh, but what if I react to that? I don't want to risk using it ahead of something special when, you know, I want to look nice. So it's like, well, when are you actually using these things, you know? So I'm putting a big goal in place here because I definitely want to be reducing that number this year and stop holding on to things and stop trying to both save them for a special occasion and then being too scared to use them when the special occasion arises. I just need to like get over it and get it reduced. Moisturisers, I'm opening with 18. I'm aiming to reduce that by 50% down to nine so that it's a single digit number. I think that should be doable because again, I think a lot of them are deluxe samples and things rather than full sizes. So fingers crossed, that should hopefully be okay. Face masks, I'm opening at 27. I'm aiming to close off at 15. Again, I think that's the sort of thing you, you tend to get samples of because most people will use a hydrating face mask or whatever at some point so brands can give them out they're not too specific but again probably similar to the eye products i probably try and keep them for like a special occasion and then go oh i don't want to risk using something for the first time ahead of a special occasion so i do want to try and get into a bit more of a routine of just using face masks for my own benefit rather than trying to keep them for some kind of like good time that I think is coming. Body washes, I'm opening with seven. I'm aiming to close off at three. I think that should be doable. Um, I just got quite a few in gift sets and things. It's sort of pumped up a bit. I'm not too worried, but I just, it's a category I want to keep an eye on because again, easily giftable, easy gift with purchases for brands to give out. Like they can, they can add up and they can accumulate. And that's just, I just have the quantity goal there so that I can be keeping an eye on it. And if any are coming in, be like, right, let's be strategic about trying to finish another one because I'm quite bad with body washes for rotating through them. And I've noticed to an extent, I, I like that. I like having like my exfoliating body wash. And then I like having like, I've got a minty one that I like using after I've been at the gym or whatever. And then I have like, you know, a sort of warming one that I'll use before I go to bed. I do like having a little bit of variety and a little bit of choice in my options, but just not quite as many as eight. I don't need to have eight, so, uh, or seven it says. So yeah, we're reducing it down to three. Three gives me variety without being ridiculous. So that's the plan there. Then body moisturizer, I'm opening with 17 and I'm aiming to close with nine. Double figures to single figures. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully should be doable. And then hand products, I have seven and I'm aiming to reduce that by five, get it down to two. I feel like particularly the Liberty Beauty boxes are to blame for my hand cream stash. Like I get so many hand creams in those beauty boxes. That's that was part of the reason I ended up cancelling it because the last box that came, there was yet another hand cream in it. I haven't even started using the one from the last time that I get a hand cream in that box because I'm still using the one from the time before that. Uh, it's not, I've got one in my desk at work, I've got one in my windowsill at home and those are the two that I'm trying to use, but it's not a product that I organically think to reach for. So it tends to add up, kick around a little bit. So I'm putting a goal in place to try and reduce by five so that we've got two at the end of the year. Fingers crossed. So those are all the categories that I've got specific goals for. So I want to reduce all of those and also make sure my overall stash 
ends the year at being 150 or less items in skincare. I will be doing my quarterly check-ins with you, hopefully keeping myself on the straight and narrow and I hope you are looking forward to seeing them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you spending this time with me and I will see you in my next one. Bye.